hi <laughs> my name is Connie welcome to this channel or welcome back if you're already subscribed um, I to give you a little intro about me moved from Texas to Monterey and I'm living my life here you're watching it and we're a family um, I know I have been gone for those of you guys that are loyal subscribers to my channel I know I apologize I have been exhausted. I have been working. I work full time for those of you that don't know. I work eight hours. I only have one day off. This is my day off today. And I've done a lot today. On my days off, I do groceries. I go out. I do things. Guys, I apologize. I know it's not an excuse. Please forgive me. But I come bearing gifts, um, information even for you my subscriber that would like to move to Monterey. Monterrey, come on now. Um, so yeah, a lot of you guys always have a lot of the same questions. And so I love answering each and every one of you, <laughs> believe me. But if I could get it all in one and have like a guide for those of you that are really interested in making a move, which I have had like a couple of um, subscribers that I have decided to make a move one of them being natalie who is so sweet and so nice oh my goodness natalie you're so sweet um but anyways i've got this notebook with these notes don't look and i'm gonna go through them with you so that you guys can either you know if you're looking to move here move if you're looking to just get information if you just want to see me talk thank you look i got my braces off Mm -hmm. And I dyed my eyebrows. Mm -hmm. I'm a changed woman since I left Texas. Una mujer cambiada. Una mujer trabajadora, intelectual, independiente, but not too much. Hi, mommy. I just made a list. It's a couple of questions here, and I'll go through them. I'm starting with, what do I need to move here? Okay, so if you're watching this, I'm hoping, because I don't know the situation of each and every one of my subscribers, I'm hoping you're currently in a safe spot willingly wanting to come here um in which case i would prepare for um having a valid id is the most important thing whether it's a valid id from the united states whether it's um a valid id because you're a citizen from mexico already you know have some form if you're if you're if you're a citizen from mexico um and you, you're wanting to come back or you're wanting to move or, you know, I would definitely recommend getting your passport or some form of ID, any form of ID. If you're not able to get, you know, if you're not a resident and you're not able to get a, um, I don't know, a driver's license or anything like that, I would recommend going to a consular, taking out your passport. It's going to make your life a lot easier, believe me. If you are a U.S. citizen wanting to move here to Mexico, um, I would recommend getting a, your, your driver's license, um, I would recommend getting it over there because the process to stitching here is very easy. You just turn yours in and then, you know, get the Mexico one. The process is a lot easier unless you want to be like me and fail your test three times and then the driving part five times. You can do that. <laughs> Date of birth, vaccines, all your, you know, any kind of important documentation. Pretend you're applying to a job. Pretend you're applying to college. Whatever paperwork you would need for that, bring it here. That's really important. What else do you need? Um, you already need to have a month's worth of rent and a deposit, which is like, you basically need to have two months worth of rent, let's say. Um, and that's just about it, guys. It's not too hard getting started. Um, well, your personal belongings that you wanna bring. I brought my fish. Some people bring other things. Um, let's talk about housing and rent. How do I find a house? Connie, how do you find a house? How do you find how did you find your house? Is one of the biggest questions that I'm asked. So there is groups, and I'll go ahead and you know, like tuk, 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 tuk. maybe not. I don't know. Um, and there's groups on Facebook. There's um Rumi's UANL, Rumi's Monterrey, um House Rent um Casas en Renta en, en Monterrey, um what is it? There's a ton of Facebook groups where you can go and there's, um, you can either find a house for yourself. If you're moving with different people, you could, you know, 
you could find a house with if you're moving like I don't know with your boyfriend with your parent sibling you can find a house with two rooms you know there's if you're coming by yourself like me and you don't think you're ready to live by yourself there is already people who have houses that rent them to either students or employees and you kind of end up in the situation that me and my roommate um, where where we found each other where it was this house with all girls there's houses for all boys so yeah definitely I would recommend checking out those Facebook pages about how much is rent going to be mm, I would say a decent house and like I said I recommend mm, um, cities like San Nicolas um, Monterrey in some areas for example Anahuac, Las Puentes is a good area in San Nicolas um, Robles, anything that has to say that says Anahuac, you're good. Um, Cumbres is super nice. Country, Cocontri is super nice. Um, San Pedro is going to be really nice. Santa Catarina, though it's a little bit far away, is so pretty. I did not realize how pretty it was until I went. And I loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, those are going to be, and I'll go ahead and, you know, make a little list here. Um, if I didn't already insert that already, future me. Rent is going to cost you anywhere from about 2,000 to 3,000 pesos. Um, I personally pay 2,200 pesos plus um, services. So in total, I'm paying about 2,500 pesos. And in dollars, that's about $125. So living expenses are not going to be too expensive at all. You're definitely going to be able to... Um, and I'll talk about finding a job. If you have a good job, the living expenses are not bad at all. It's very, very affordable to live here. Um, how do I find a job? So this is what I did. And it may or may not work for everybody, but it's just what happened to work for me. Um, I've seen a lot of different people that make publications on Facebook. Like, are you looking to, I don't know, sell this? Or are you looking for a work from home job to do this? What I did is kind of like if I was in the U.S., I Googled jobs near me. Um, indeed.com and I ended up working or I am currently working in a call center which I I know so many people that just I say call center they're like no but I don't really understand why it's so bad okay it's a little bit I'm in a sales department so I sell oh I don't know if I'm supposed to say that I'll go ahead and cut that out um but if anybody's interested in or looking for a job, definitely DM me. Um, send me an Instagram message. I'll refer you. Um, it's a really easy process. Um, but it's a, it's a call center. Because I'm bilingual, they pay you a little bit more. Um, you don't have to necessarily be a sales representative. You could be customer service. You could be retention. There's a lot of different things that you can do. But, you know, if that's not for you, the, the what to do is, or what I recommend, oh, fixing the lighting, sorry. What I would recommend is, you know, going on Google, jobs near me, um, or, you know, driving around, looking at, like, help wanted signs. Just like any other place, guys, Mexico is not Mars. Mexico is just South America. <laughs> it's the same thing, guys. Don't, um, you know, if, we're, if you plan on moving here, you're not moving to a different side of the world or anything. We're just a couple hours down south. It's going to be the exact same process. Now... I have gotten questions like, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and answer them because there's no such thing as a dumb question. Um, I've gotten questions like, is there water? Is there uh, AC? Is there roads? And there is. Um, this is currently my house. This is my TV. I am on a cushioned bed. Um, I have a fan here if you want to see it this is my fan so there is definitely electricity um i drive a truck on a road so there is in fact all of those things it's 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 not like the movies guys it's not like the movies where it's like an, a clay house or like twigs and like the little thumble rolls it's not like that guys it's not like that at all it's, it's a, watch my other videos please it's not like that Okay, um, expenses, other expenses other than rent, um, we've got food, I eat, I eat, guys, I eat, 
a lot. <laughs> I spend about 600 pesos bi-weekly, so I spent about $30 bi-weekly on groceries. This does not count if I go out to eat or things like that, which, believe me, I do limit myself. I Not because I like don't have the expenses, but come on, like I wouldn't do it at home. I wouldn't go out to eat out every eat every day at home, so I'm definitely not going to do it here just because I can and just because my mom's not watching me. That's not how it is. I'm an adult. I earn adult money, and I budget myself i'm talking to myself at this point not you guys sorry <laughs> do i need to know spanish um yes and no so monterrey is a very advanced city um everybody here is gonna know a little bit of english anybody who studied is has to know some level of english because a lot of the courses and the the content is, ca is taught in english and even russian i have friends who like know russian because of the university but while you don't need to know like a lot of Spanish, I would definitely recommend knowing things like, you know, your basic um, please and thank yous, your hellos, knowing your address, como puedo llegar a tal lugar, um, hola buenas tardes, cuanto cuesta, you know, things you're going to use on your day-to-day -day basis. It's not hard to learn. You know, you memorize a couple of phrases I know. You're, I know. It, I know. I understand it's difficult to learn an entire language, but you don't have to learn the entire language. Um, you can start little by little, just learning everyday phrases until you catch on. Believe me, your friends, when you make friends, will you know help you. I have my roommates, my work friends, my outside friends that I've met, all like pitch in to help my grammar. My Spanish no es perfecto. Mi español es muy distante, perfecto, pero se va mejorando mientras más tiempo vivo aquí. Um, how safe is it? Okay. Hmm. It's going to be as safe as any other place. There's going to be good parts and there's going to be bad parts. Now, that in mind, for a girl, it's going to be a little bit more unsafe. Um, in my previous house where I used to live, in Las Puentes, I would walk through the streets at night without any problem. However, some months ago, there started being some issues from another, like another, from people from another um, state that came here. There was a situation going on with women, so you know, um, we kind of like stopped going out at night. All women in general in Monterrey, um, but you know, that's something that can happen in any city. Um, I believe it's even happened in my own hometown at some point in the valley. But yes, it. It's very safe. I feel safe going out um, to eat. I feel safe going out to the centro. I feel safe doing all my activities. But I do always have to be very careful. And that's not just here in Mexico, guys. That isn't every and any place. I am always, you know, I see a man and he looked at me funny. You know, I will, it, I turn, you turn. If somebody is looking at you weird or if somebody is doing something that is making you uncomfortable, you say something, um, I don't know, make a face or que quieres or what's your problem, you know, here in Mexico, you have to be a little bit more, you know, um, and what, if you can be with somebody, I, I am personally somebody that likes to or has to be alone a lot of the times, um, and so you do have to be a little bit more, um, Make yourself bigger. It's it's not unsafe. I love being here, and I'm very. I feel very safe in my own home right now. I'm by like I I feel very safe in my own home, but of course, like I said, it's gonna vary depending on area. If you're a woman and you're new, I would definitely re recommend staying away from places like Independencia, and Moderno, Topo Chico. Um, you know, just not because they're bad places. They're just not under the best reputations, move on, and, and that's fine. You don't have to go through there. There's not even metro stations that pass through some of those areas. And that's just about it, guys. Um, that's it. A little bit of an update on my life. Uh, I am presenting my exam once again for the uni in about two, next week, in about next week on Saturday. So by the time you see this, it will maybe already be like Monday. So... I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it again. Uh, and let's see. I started going to therapies. Not because I, like, felt bad or anything like that. I just think 
everybody should go to therapy at some point. You would not believe how good it feels to go to therapy sometimes. You know, just being able to talk about things. I'll make a video on that. The Benefits of Therapy by Connie. It's super great. Um, Christmas is coming up. We've got our tree already up. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, definitely do so. Um, I'm really excited and I wish I, I had more time to tell you guys about everything. And I promise I do always try to get to it and I will get to it eventually. Um, but as for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions or would you like me to, or if you'd like me to do a part two, let me know. And, and that's it guys. I'm going to leave you for tonight. <laughs> I love all of you guys, my subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys, I have like 300 and something subscribers, like 353 last time I checked or something like that. Thank you so much.